Well, folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Be impeccable with your word. Replace fear with love. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer a fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 297, Nasdaq up 221, SP's up 74, up 54 rather. Gold. Gold contract up $8.80, trading at 2,002 an ounce. We had silver up 49 cents, $23.34 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 45. $81, one penny a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note up 28 ticks, trading 108.12. The 30 year up a full point plus seven ticks at 113.29 in King Dollar. King Dollar's trading down 1,092 ticks, 105.032. The euro is at 107. The yen's at 149.35, and the British pound is at 123 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, now you're inside the higher range, folks. Bottom line is that you... There we go. So you take a look at the SPY. What you're going to see, step by step, you know, bottom line first, you know, on Tuesday, bottom line got inside one range. This morning, got inside the higher range. And we blasted inside it, by the way, okay? So what you have here is this, okay? You're going to be approaching the first swing point. We're at 436. Your first swing point up here is the 438. You know, we'll see how that handles it coming next week. But the bottom line is that on a longer-term basis, this thing wants to go to its highs, uh, which is uh, that 487. Four, no, 459. 459. Right now you're at 435. We go into the NDX 100. We take a look at the Qs, and as I said with the Qs, the Qs have been much stronger than the SPY. What you had with the Qs, you know, bottom line, and with the, with the Qs, you, you were only out of the range for, you know, well, you know, you, you came down out of the range you, three days. You popped right back inside it. And the Qs are in the higher range. You know, the bottom line, you had Apple come out with numbers last night. And, you know, it, 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 it is only Apple, folks, that could come out with four quarters of, you know, contracting revenue, and they don't sell it down. But bottom line, it is what it is, okay? You know, if you, if you do take a look at their numbers, um, I'll just bring it up. So, because if it was any other stock, the thing would get smoked, man. You can see, you know, we're talking about, when you're talking about four quarters, well, actually, they did $89 billion. So... They did 117, 117 billion the first quarter, 94 the second quarter, 81 the third quarter, 89 the second. Now, what is happening, and that's what folks are looking at, the next quarter, they're looking at 120 billion. So they're looking to go from 90 to up to 120. Bottom line is that if you take a look at the Qs, Qs want, right now the Qs are trading at the price point of 368. And that high that's laying out there is 387. You know, bottom line is that uh, Q's want higher price. Now, let's do this. I'm going to, uh, here, so we'll go into, if you take a look at this, and this is what it's all about, too. This is a dynamic change, okay? This is, you know, these things just don't happen overnight, meaning that we've been in a high, well, we've been going higher on an interest rate structure right now for 18 months. It's over. And it's not only over, we just went down a half a percent in literally about uh, two weeks, okay? So if you take a look at this, what you're going to see is that 4.9 was the high, we're 4.5. Now, this is the chart you want to see because we're all technicians, and you're going to see how this, this is the yield chart, okay? So you can see we, these numbers were 4.55. You can see that high. That, now, that high was made when the markets were closed, but interest rate structure still goes. It was 5.018, and that high was generated, let's do it, four, eight, nine days ago. So nine days we went from 
5.05 to 4.5. Now, that's not the big deal on this chart. What the big deal on this chart is, is that it broke the uptrend in a monster way with conviction. It's saying that, guess what? We're going down to 3.7. Yeah, that's how this shakes out. Now, what will end up happening, you, you're breaking the structure out here today. You're breaking it with conviction. That's saying that the next leg will be pretty quick. Coming down to the 4.3, you'll, you'll, you know, you'll, you'll get some support at 4.3. I suspect it will, what will end up happening, we'll break it again, and we get down to this 3.7. And what does that mean? Well, that, that means let's go over to the dollar. What it means coming over to the dollar is that you're going to see, bottom line, this is down with conviction, okay? Wide price spread, monster wide price spread. It had already built cause. I was speculating it was building cause, but there's, there's the proof. It built cause, just blew away this consolidation. So your next leg is going to bring you down to that 104.699. And right now you're at 105.046. And all you have to do is go to the home builders, and you're going to see that game is on. Why? Because the fact of the matter is, as if we get down to 3.7, that means mortgages are going to be 5.5 instead of 8, okay? And I expect that that's going to happen in the next four to six weeks, man. I mean, this how, because why? Because we went too far the other way. And this is the, this is a, yeah, well, here, here's, here's Toll Brothers. Look at Toll Brothers. Toll Brothers in five days just went from 68 to 82, but that's not the big number. Here's the big number. Where do you see this? Toll Brothers could end up being an ABC structure up. This is, this is, it only had backed down, okay? Well, from the whole way, I'll, I'll take this one. Yeah, so on one of them, from the last trend, it backed down a 0.618. From the last trend, however, the beginning of the trend, when you see this, you're going to crack up. We didn't even do a 0.38 to retracement. So how it attacks this high, which is right next to it, is going to say, okay, do we have an ABC structure up? Because we know you have a tight housing market, but what we had is a high interest rate structure. Now you get interest rates coming down. Now the game is on. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.